Hi everybody, my name is Shauna. I'm a master instructor with TRX Training and today we are doing a 45 minute TRX strength workout. Now today we are going to focus on the basics and I have a bonus for you. If you don't love getting down to the ground and getting your toes in and your heels and the foot cradles, we're gonna do this entire workout from a standing position today. After our warm up, we're going to do seven different groups of exercises with four sets, 30 seconds of work followed by 30 seconds of rest. And I'm gonna give you options to progress the exercises in every single one of those sets. You don't have to take that option, but it's offered and available to you. At the end of that, we're going to do a fun little TRX squat challenge, and then we'll do some awesome cool down stretches. So let's get started with our warm up. We're gonna start with our TRX standing rollout. My straps are at mid length, and I'm standing facing away from the anchor point. I'm in a nice, strong, active plank position. My bum is tight, shoulders are down. The further forward you are, the easier it is. The further back you are, the harder it is. Ensure those hips aren't sagging, your body's straight. Once you've found that plank, roll the hands out just a little bit and return. In this position, you should be able to keep your ears away from your shoulders, and all you should feel is a tight plank and then an even tighter plank when I get out to this position. It's a good chance for us to start engaging our core and then feel that body alignment of that space between my ears, my shoulders, engaging those butt cheeks tight, strong tickle tummy abs. Three, two, and one. Let's do our squat row combo. Straps stay at mid-length, stand facing the anchor point. I have you lean back, walk it under just a touch, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, eyes are up. You're gonna bend your knees, drop your bum as low as you safely can, doesn't have to be all the way down here. Back to your plank, big squeeze behind your shoulder blades, and plank. Squat, plank, and row, and plank. Alternating those two movements, enjoying the stretch in your knees and your hips and your ankles on the squat, and feeling that squeeze behind your shoulder blades on top. Keeping the ribs tucked in. Let's do one more nice rep here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Forward lunge with Y fly is next. We use this one to stretch out the front side of our bodies. Straps are at mid length, stand facing away from the anchor point. In this Frankenstein position, my body weight is directly above my feet. Now, if lunging all the way down doesn't feel comfortable, you can also do a step too. My arms are straight, I'm gonna step forward, bend the back knees, stretch, pressing into those handles, driving down, come back. Step forward, lower the back knee down as low as I can, enjoy that stretch through my hip flexors, press down and reset. I'm alternating legs and I'm actively pressing into the handles and opening up my hips on the bottom as I stretch. Once again, check the placement of your shoulders. Are they away from your ears? <sighs> Could do this one all day, but we won't. Three, two, and one. TRX single leg hip hinge. We're gonna work out a little bit of balance here. The straps are at mid length. You'll be standing facing the anchor point. Actively press downward on the handle. Center your right foot to the anchor. Hinge forward, keep your hips square, a little bit of a stretch, and then come back up. Try not to set your left foot down unless you need to. Hinge forward, a little bit of a stretch, and come back up. My shoulders are down and back. My hips are square to the floor, and I'm feeling that nice stretch in my hamstrings on the right side as I move in and out of this position. Your ears, shoulders, hips, and back heel stay in the same alignment. Three, two, and one, let's switch feet. I'm gonna stand on my left foot, pressing down, hinging forward, get a nice stretch, and return. You're kinda of like one of those birds on the edge of a bird bath where when the front side goes down, the back side follows up with it. Or if you're familiar with yoga, this is kinda of like your warrior three, moving in and out of your warrior three in yoga. Five, four, ah, three, Two, enjoy that stretch, and one. Let's do your TRX lateral lunges. The straps stay at mid-length, and we'll take a nice wide stance, pointing your toes directly forward. I'm gonna bend my right knee only as low as you comfortably can, and pull yourself back up. We're gonna revisit these later during your workout. Bend my left knee, just feel the stretch. That's what we're focusing on now. We're not focusing on totally loading those muscles. We're focusing on enjoying the stretch in your inner thighs and your hips as you're lunging side to side. 
keeping your chest up tall and proud. Check to make sure your knees are tracking directly forward the same direction your toes are pointing and not buckling in or out. Five, maybe you can go a little lower. Four, three, I'm gonna do one more. Two, and one. Finally, your golfer's rotation. Hands are at belly button height. Press down on those handles, just feel the core engage, and rotate around, touch the ceiling. I'm staying with my feet in the same place. I just happen to pivot on those feet to get that full rotation, keeping tension on the straps at all times. Swinging down and back up. Shoulders away from the ears, nice tall stretch. I'm trying to touch the ceiling with every rep, probably never gonna happen because I'm pretty short. <laughs> 10 more seconds here, and then we'll move on with your workout. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get this party started. We're gonna start with your TRX standing plank. So you don't even have to get to the ground. Isn't that awesome? My straps are going to be at mid-length, and you're going to place your forearms in the foot cradles of the straps. You see this? How the foot cradles kind of go right in the middle of my forearms. I'm standing facing away from the anchor point. To make it a little more stable, you can put one foot in front, otherwise a wide or narrow stance. To make it harder, you walk back. To make it easier, you walk forward. Three, two, and one. Press down on those foot cradles, shoulders down and back. And hey, if you didn't get set up in time, just hit pause, figure it out, get comfortable, make sure you're in a position you want to be in, and then hit start again. You're welcome to take a longer rest break if you need to. I want you to actively drive down into those foot cradles, feeling that engagement behind your shoulder blades, and really squeeze those buns tight, tight, tight. We have 10 seconds left. Bracing. Is your body as straight as a surfboard? Three two, and one. Take a little break, shake it out. We're going to do that exact same thing again, but if you felt safe doing that and want to challenge it a little more, I'm going to have you try to take a little step backwards. And what you can even do during that 30-second set is you can start a little steeper, and if you're not feeling very confident or very strong, you can always kind of wriggle forward during that 30 seconds. So let's get back to your standing plank. Straps at mid-length, forearms in those foot cradles, standing facing away. Let's step it back a little further if you can. Three, two, and one. Pressing down into those foot cradles, I'm squeezing behind my shoulder blades. I should see your long dangly earrings hanging from your ears, lots of space between your ears and your shoulders. Those buns are tight, two apples on the backside, driving your heels back, squeezing everything, pressing down. I'm starting to shake a little bit. That means I'm doing it right. 10 seconds left, and breathing, and squeezing, and five, four, Three, two, and one. Take a break. Another option for this is you can do the same standing plank with your hands on the handles. So you can do either of the forearm planks, or if you want to try holding it with your arms straight, you might be able to walk a little bit further back with this one. Ensuring that the straps aren't rubbing on your arms. The hands are off your arms, so the straps aren't touching. We're going in 10 seconds. Find that nice, strong plank. Squeeze everything in five, four, Three, two, and one. Now, once again, you're going to actively press into those handles. So I don't want to see your shoulders collapsing to your ears. I'm forcing down. I'm almost turning my hands away from one another to feel my shoulder blades engage. I'm squeezing those butt cheeks. My tummy is nice and tight. And maybe you're shaking a little bit from all of that core tension. We've got 10 seconds left with this one. And then we'll only have one more set during this. And then you get a little water break before we move to our next exercise. Three, two, and one. Good. Shake it out. 30 seconds off. We're going to do the same thing again. Or you can choose anything we've done in the past three sets. We're going to turn this into that standing rollout that we did in your warm-ups, but ideally a little steeper angle from what you did in your warm-ups. So we're going in 15 seconds. You still have a little chance to breathe, but you're going to walk it under as steep of a plank as you're comfortable doing, and those hands just come out a little bit and back. We're not going full Superman. That's really rough on your shoulders. All right, guys, get ready. Two and one. Find your plank, choose your angle, and the hands come out just a bit and drive it back in. Don't let those straps touch your arms. Also, while you're doing the standing rollout, is your body staying in that straight surfboard plank? It's tempting to let your bum come back too, but that's cheating. You want to keep everything straight. The only thing that's moving are those hands coming out and back in. So some movement at the shoulder joint. We have five, four, three, two, 
And you did it. Nice job. We get a minute rest. Grab a sip of water. We're going to move on to your TRX squats, which you're going to see a couple times today. So when you're ready, keep those straps at mid-length, and you'll be standing facing the anchor point. You still have 45 seconds, so you can catch your breath while I show this to you. My feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart. I'm holding onto the handles, and my hands are slightly out in front of my body. You don't want to be too close, because then you have to hunch forward to do your squat. So hands out in front of you, and my elbows are just almost below my shoulders, and I start with a little slack on the straps. Now imagine somebody kicked your knees out and you sat straight down like you're sitting down in a chair, pressing the hips back, and then I pull myself straight back up, making sure the knees track directly over my middle toes and don't buckle in. We're going in 10 seconds. Let's just do this first set to get comfortable, and then we'll start to challenge you as we go. Going in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's squat. So first of all, let's start from the top. How's your posture? Do you once again have that space between your ears and your shoulders? Next, how's your torso alignment? Are you keeping your chest up tall, okay, rather than bending forward and taking a bow? Now, are you pressing your hips back with every rep, like you're trying to tap your bum on a stool or bench behind you? Are your knees tracking over your middle toes? All right, shake it out. That was the first one. Second set, if you can, I want you to try to go a little bit lower. If it hurts, don't. But if you think you can do it, especially because we're unloading your body weight with the suspension trainer, let's give it a shot. Also, here's a fun trick. We still have 15 seconds left. On your way up from that squat, try to push your feet apart like you're spreading the floor apart beneath your feet, and that's going to make your bum work a little bit more too. Bonus. All right, going in three. Two and one. Drop that bucket down. Spread the floor apart with your feet. Stand straight back up. As low as you can safely go. Watching the knee angle, making sure you still keep your spine neutral. You're pressing your hips back into that imaginary chair behind you. Down, press the floor apart. Bam, drive it back up. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you can do either of those sets of squats that we did, or we can move on to a TRX single leg squat. For your single leg squat, I'm gonna have you center your right foot to the anchor, and you can put your left heel in front of you to unload some body weight. But just like your regular squat, you might wanna make sure you're lowering straight down and coming straight back up again. So we're going in 10 seconds, I'm gonna balance on my right foot, and I'll start with my left heel on the ground to unload my body weight. Going in three, two, and one. So I'm pressing my bum back. I've got my left heel in front. Nothing looks different from that double squat. If you're feeling brave, you can pick up that foot. Just make sure you keep proper posture and you decide how low you go. Is that right knee tracking directly above your middle toes? Is your chest up tall and proud? Are you keeping your heel grounded as you go down and up through this squat? Five, four, Three, two, and one, <laughs> shake it out. Let's do the same thing on the other side. We'll practice a couple of repetitions first. You wanna be careful not to let your tail tuck under when you're doing those single leg squats. You wanna make sure you're pressing those hips back, keeping this neutral spine for the entire range of motion. So now I'm gonna center my left foot to the anchor, and I'll start with my right heel on the ground. We're going in, whew, five, four, breathing heavier, three, <laughs> Two, and one. Let's drop that bucket down. Again, you choose your depth. It doesn't have to be as low as I'm going. Maybe it's lower than I'm going. And when you're ready, pick this right foot up off the ground, if that makes you feel comfortable. Straight down, pull yourself back up. Try to avoid letting your chest collapse. Using the handles as much as you need to assist you through the movement. <sighs> Actively pressing into the floor. We have 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Let's go back to some upper body stuff here. You've got a minute. We're going to do your TRX chest press. So for your TRX chest press, you want to lengthen your straps. Fun trick when you lengthen your straps, you always want to do both sides at the same time. So I toggle down on my barrel lock adjusters, only halfway, and then I have my thumb on one side, fingers on the other, and watch this. I pull them both. And that's so much easier than trying to do one at a time and play in the seesaw game. 
Fun fact. All right, TRX chest press. Let's stand facing away from the anchor point. Option one, you can have a split stance that gives you a little more stability. Option two, a wide stance. Option three, narrow. Making sure the straps don't rub on your arms. The steeper you are, the harder the exercise is. I'm going to start with a wide stance and a moderate angle. We're going in five, strong plank, four, three, two, and one. I'm bending my elbows, my chest lowers down just above the shoulders, and I come right back up. Hey, you don't want to go any lower than where your handles are because that puts a lot of pressure on your shoulders. Also, notice how my body is moving in one straight piece, one surfboard going down and up. I'm not leaving my butt behind me. I'm taking my butt with me. And most importantly, avoid letting your hips sag down because that's going to cause back pain. Three, two, and one. Whew. Shake it out. My next set, I'm just going to bring my feet together a little bit closer. You can also change your distance from the anchor. You can move further back to make it more challenging. You can move it further forward to make it a little bit easier. Or you can start your set a little steeper. And during that 30 seconds, you can kind of wiggle forward as the exercise gets more fatiguing. All right. We're going in five. I'm going to take that narrow stance. Four, three, Two, strong plank, straps off your arms, lower down, brace, phew, drive it straight back up. Everything's nice and tight and plank down and drive, squeezing everything. I'm trying to find a good angle so you can see me. <laughs> Hopefully you can see my back okay here. I'm still squeezing those buns really tight, those two apples on my backside, whew, and actively pressing my hands into those handles, kind of like we did the planks a few rounds ago. Five. Four, three, two, and one. All right, that was my second set. Third set, you can do anything we just did. I'm going to have you, if you want to add on the challenge, go to one leg. I'm going to move my angle forward a little bit to make it easier, but I'm going to balance on my right leg and stick my left knee either in front of me or even harder out to the side. So now your body has to resist that rotation while you do your chest press. That's an option. You don't have to take it. I'm balancing on my right foot. Two and one. Body stays straight. I'm still taking my whole body with me. Straps stay off of my arms. Eyes out ahead of me slightly. Buns really tight. Everything braced. I'm actively pressing into those handles. My shoulders are away from my ears. I'm squeezing everything. <sighs> 10 seconds left. Bracing, squeezing, <sighs> driving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, if you did the one leg version of that TRX chest press, you know what you have to do. We gotta switch legs. So I'm gonna keep that same angle, but I'm gonna move and center my left leg to the anchor. We're going in 15 seconds. Relax your neck, roll out your shoulders. Let's start getting to position for this final TRX, or, uh, TRX chest press. I'm centering my left foot. I'm gonna stick my right foot out to the side, brace my core, find the plank. Three, two, and one. Lowering down, bracing. Drive it right back up off the bottom. Again, my shoulders aren't going lower than my hands. I'm keeping my body straight and tight, and everything is moving together. Also, my gaze is out ahead of me, about, about six feet ahead of me. My body is straight and tight, I hope. And five, four, three, two, and one. Good, little breather. All right, got a minute break. Remember how I said we're going to see those lateral lunges again? Now is that moment. So you get a little minute break. We're going to do your TRX lateral lunges. We'll start with some stationary lateral lunges that are very similar to what we did in the warm-up, and then we'll move into some stepping lateral lunges to bump up the challenge just a bit. Still sticking with our four sets. So we're going to keep our straps at mid-length, and we'll be standing facing the anchor point. The alignment of your body is the hardest part of these lateral lunges. So I want you to take a fairly wide stance with my toes pointed directly forward. If your feet are too narrow, when you try to lunge, your hips and knees are going to go wonky. So give me a nice wide stance, toes pointed directly forward. Yes, this will stretch your inner thighs. Chest is up tall, hands out in front of me slightly. You still have 10 seconds, but we can practice one. Let's bend your right knee. You press the hip backwards. I'm not falling backwards. I just bend from the knee and come back up. 
Let's try this. So I'm going to bend my right knee, press the hip backwards, lower down, pull myself back up, strong plank. Bend my left knee, press the hip backwards, and come back up. I'm alternating sides. But again, I'm not falling backwards as I lunge. I'm keeping my body weight directly above my feet, almost as if I'm not using these at all. But I am using them to pull myself up from the bottom. If you're not sure if you're using them too much, find a little slack between each rep. Three, two, and one. All right, cool. Hopefully you got the form. Now let's see if you can go a little bit lower. So I'm going to keep my feet wide, toes pointed directly forward. Now I'm going to go for some depth. Again, not falling backwards for the depth, going straight down. But listen to your body. If your knees don't like it, don't go that low. All right. We're going in 10 seconds. Side to side, roll out those shoulders. Find your strong, tall posture. Going in five, four, three, two lateral lunges. Here we go. I bend one knee, I'm going a little lower, and back up. I'm hardly using them at all on the way down, and then a gentle pull to come back up off the bottom. My toes stay pointed forward, my knees track directly forward. My eyes, other than checking my knee and toe alignment, are also looking straight ahead or even up at that anchor point. I've got 10 seconds left, side to side. Oh, five, four, three, two, and one. Now remember this position of your toes and your knees. We're going to bring your feet together. Now we're going to do alternating stepping lateral lunges. So now I'm going to start with my feet together and step to the side, bend the knee, but look where my toe landed. See how it's pointed forward like that? Your brain's going to try to do that. That's cheating. Keep that toe forward. Then I'll step in, and then I'll do the same thing to the other side. Let's give it a shot. If that's too much, just do the stationary ones. Three, two, and one. Big step to the right, bend the knee, press the hip back, pull yourself up, step to the left, side to side. I'm really paying attention to where my foot lands and the direction of my knee when I bend it. I'm still pressing the hips back and I'm dropping low, using the handles to pull myself back up. This is a little dynamic, it's gonna get your heart rate up a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Catch your breath. <laughs> Shake it out. We have one more set of those, guys. Awesome job. Nice. <sighs> All right. So one more time. Can you go a little bit lower with these? You don't have to, but that's your option for right now. Okay. Are you ready? Going in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Stepping side to side. Bend the knee. Pull yourself back up. Other side. Bend the knee. Pull yourself back up. Are those toes pointed forward? Is your chest still up and tall? Are you pressing the hips back but not falling backwards as you go side to side? 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We have two more rounds like these before we go into our squat challenge for today. The next exercise looks easy, but it can actually be quite challenging. It's called your TRX rotational ward. So I'm going to have my straps at mid-length, kind of where they've been for a little bit now. And I'm going to be standing sideways to the anchor point. My hands are inside the foot cradles. And I'm walking it sideways so they're lined up with my sternum. So right now my left shoulder is pointed toward the anchor. You still have 30 seconds. And then I'm going to extend my arms. And when I say go, you pull. See how my hands are inside the foot cradle? So they're both inside so my palms are touching. When you pull, nothing changes. Your ears, shoulders, hips, ankles stay in alignment. So let's get in that position. Walk sideways, keeping your feet wide, hands by your sternum. Extend those arms going in five, four, three, Two and one, and pull as hard as you can. Pull, 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 pull. Ribs in, butt cheeks tight. Body is super straight like a surfboard. Shoulders falling away from your ears. Squeezing, bracing. The harder you pull these straps, the harder the exercise is. We have 15 seconds. Can you pull just a little bit harder without shifting anything else in your body? And five, four, three, Two and one. Good job. Whew. 
All right, 30 seconds, let's get set up on the other side. When you pull, make sure that your ears and shoulders and hips and ankles are stacked. It's tempting to do this or this or this or twist. Everything should be alignment. The only thing different when you add that tension is this all lights up. Your shoulders, your stomach, your hips, everything down to your ankles. So let's do the other side. Standing sideways, my right shoulder is facing the anchor, hands inside the foot cradles, feet wide. Hands lined up with my sternum. I'm going to extend. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Pull as hard as you can. All right. So my left hand is pulling away. My right hand is pushing into that left hand. I'm keeping my shoulder blades in my back pockets, and I'm trying to rip this suspension trainer out of the anchor in the ceiling. If you're in a door anchor, try to rip that door right off the hinges. Don't actually do that. I'd feel bad if you did. But really pull hard, 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 hard. We've got five, tighter, four, harder, three, two, and one. All right, now you got to feel for this. Now you understand what it is. I want to see if you can pull even harder. I'm also going to give you a slightly different foot position this time too. So once again, straps at mid-length, I'm standing sideways. I'm going to now have you, if my left shoulder is facing the anchor, place your left foot in front and right foot behind like you're on a balance beam. I've walked it sideways so my hands are in front of my sternum and I'm extending those arms straight out in front of me. We're going in five. A little less stability here. Three, two and one pull it really hard pull 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 shoulder blades in your back pockets butt cheeks tight pressing my right hand out my left hand in i'm checking sideways in the mirror to make sure my body's still in that nice straight line and pulling trying to rip that anchor out of the ceiling rip your door off the hinges see if you can break your straps if you break your straps doing this send me an email show me proof and i'll send you a new set of uh, a new trx suspension trainer how's that sound Three, harder, two, and one. Ugh. Okay, other side. This is it for the rotational ward. Then we only have two more after this. I think I lied to you earlier. After this one, we have two more, and then we'll do our squat challenge. So, standing sideways, my right shoulder's lined up with the anchors, hands inside the foot cradle, and my right foot is in front, left foot's behind him on that balance beam. I'm gonna extend the arms out in front of me, shoulders down and back. We're pulling in five. Get ready. How hard can you pull this thing? Three, two, and one. Pull it. Ugh. Remember, you're not leaning. You're pulling. So your body is still in a perfectly straight line. If you drew a line from the ceiling down to the floor, your body would be parallel with that line. My ribs are tucked in. My shoulders are away from my ears. This is a tough one to do on video because it's really hard to demonstrate how much is contracting, but I really hope you feel all that tension in your full body as you're really pulling those straps. Five, four, harder, three, two, and one, release. Nice job. Next up, um, we're gonna do our TRX low rows. So I'm gonna have you fully shorten your straps. Again, to shorten your straps, I take my barrel lock adjuster, toggle it down just halfway. If I go all the way down at lock. So halfway with my thumb, I'm gonna grab my yellow adjustment tab here and pull it all the way up like a bow and arrow. I'll do the same thing on the other side. Toggle that down, grab, pull that all the way up like a bow and arrow. For our low rows, we'll be standing facing the anchor. You still have 30 seconds. My hands are at my rib cage. My eyes are up toward the anchor point. My toes are up towards my shins. That helps them keep a nice, strong plank. Hands start at my rib cage. I'm going to straighten my arms. Body stays in that straight line. And then bring my hands right back to my rib cage, squeezing behind my shoulder blades. Also, make sure those ribs are tucked in and not flaring out. All right, let's do this, gang. We're going in five. Four, three, buns tight, two, and one. Straighten the arms. Now, once again, just like almost everything today, do you have that space between your ears and your shoulders? Do you still have those two apples on your backside? This is actually quite similar to the chest press we did. We just happened to be pulling instead of pushing. But the rest of our body is in a very similar alignment. Big squeeze behind those shoulder blades. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Good, shake it out, roll out those shoulders. To make this harder, you can walk under a little bit lower. 
Okay, so roll out your shoulders, relax your neck. We're going again in about 15 seconds. See if you can choose a slightly steeper angle for the second set of rows. Be careful not to let the shoulders creep up into your ears. They're going to try to do that when you're fatigued. All right, TRX low row, straps fully short and stand facing, hands at your rib cage, toes up, body straight, two and one. Here we go, straighten the arms, chest to hands. Are you tucking those ribs in? Are you squeezing those buns? Ugh. Big squeeze behind the shoulder blades. Eyes are up toward the anchor, or better yet, slightly up at the ceiling. Halfway there. These feel really hard today. <laughs> Everything braced. Keep breathing. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. We still have two more sets of these bad boys. My question to you is, can you go even lower this time? The answer might be no, and that's totally fine. But if you think you can step it under just a little bit more, let's give it a shot. We're going in 15 seconds. Stretch it out, relax, shake it out. Oh, we have this, one more squat challenge, stretching. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Going in five, four, three, two, and one, even steeper. Everything squeeze and brace. Body tight. Halfway. I'm scooting back a little bit. This is getting tough. <laughs> and that's okay. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two. And one, shake it out. All right, we've got one more set of these TRX low rows. Now, I actually want to encourage you for this set to start lower than you think you can finish and do what I did in that last set, where when you get tired, just walk back a little bit until the end of the set, you're kind of super fatigued. It's called a drop set. We do those in the weight room as well. All right, we're going in five. How low can you start? Three, two, and one. Here we go. Definitely moving back. Halfway. Going back again. <laughs> Are those shoulders down? Is that body straight as a surfboard? Three, two, and one. Nice job. Grab a sip of water. Only one more series here. And then we'll do that squat challenge for today. We're gonna do a really great posture movement called the overhead back extension. Um, I like ending with this one because quite frankly, the exercise itself feels really good. It's not terribly hard. And it teaches you how to hinge and unhinge your hips and strengthens the whole backside of your body. So the T-Rex overhead back extension, our straps will be back to mid length. So remember to lengthen your straps toggle down on both barrel lock adjusters at the same time and pull to mid-length. You'll be standing facing the anchor point. I'll use this one here. Walk it back with your arms straight out in front of you like you're water skiing. I'm gonna fold my body in half, feel this nice lower back stretch. I'm gonna squeeze my buns, pull backwards with my hands and touch the ceiling. I'm going to my toes, two and one. Let's do this. Fold your body in half, enjoy that stretch. Now pull really hard at the backs of your hands, unhinge your hips, keeping tension on top. Now it's tricky, but you wanna keep that space between your ears and your shoulders when you come to that top position. I'm gonna fold in half, get a stretch, come right back up, stick the landing on top. I'm folding, stretching, pulling, driving. <sighs> Relaxing my neck. Big squeeze behind. Two and one. Good. Shake it out. This one, we're really not going to progress a whole lot. I just want you to feel those hinges as you do this. Um, you can liken this one, like if you see the back extension machine at a gym where you hang over the edge and lift yourself up. But the nice thing about this is it has so much less pressure on the spine, but still achieves a similar goal of strengthening the backside of your body. All right, we're doing this again, guys. Get in a position in five. Mid-length, stand facing, arms straight. Three, low back stretch. One, pull with your hands. Stick that landing up top. 
fold your body in half. Now, if you'd like to go a little more range of motion, you can actually step one foot forward when you get to the top. Just bring them back together when you fold in half. Step that foot forward, big squeeze. You don't have to, this is extra credit. <laughs> and fold in half. Are you keeping your ears lined up with your biceps the whole time? Are you sticking that landing, keeping constant tension in the straps no matter what on top? Three, two, and one. Good, take a break, that was two sets. We have two more sets to go. Swing out those arms, relax your neck. You can even hinge and hang down toward your toes, stretch out your hamstrings a little bit. We're going again in 15 seconds, two more of these. Awesome job, guys. At least I assume you're doing an awesome job. I can't actually see you, but I assume you're doing a really, really good job since you've stuck with me this long. All right, we're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Fold your body in half, feel that good stretch. Pull with your hands, stick the landing on your toes, relaxing your shoulders away from your ears. Squeeze your buns, come right up to that nice tall end range. Again, you always have that option of stepping your foot forward to stick the landing and get a slightly bigger range of motion in your shoulders without losing tension in the straps. I'm stretching, squeezing, pressing the hips forward. Three, two, and one. As you might be fatiguing, one thing to be careful of, make sure you're not rolling your back up and arching into that position. It's a strict hinge. Hinge and squeeze the buns, pull it forward. Okay, we've got one more set here. We'll do some squats, we'll stretch, and we're done. So, we're doing our overhead back extension. Straps are at mid-length, stand facing the anchor point, walk it back with those arms straight out in front of you. Going in five, shoulders down, three, two, and one. Fold your body in half, get a nice stretch, squeeze, stick the landing on top. Fold, get an awesome stretch, squeeze your buns, all the way up on top. Lots of tension on those straps. Whew. 10 seconds left. Ah, buns tight, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. I'm gonna shake it out for a second. We're gonna go over our squat minus one challenge. This is really fun, and this is something you can do um, if you're working out with your friends, um, your spouse, your kids. One of you will do 10 repetitions, and then the other person will be resting, then the other person does 10 repetitions. And then nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, all the way down to one. So you're doing a lot of repetitions, but it's nice because when you're doing more reps, you get a longer rest. When you're doing fewer reps, you get a shorter rest. So we're gonna do this together today. Now, obviously I can't actually see what pace you're going. So if we get a little bit off together, that's totally fine. You still get the gist of how this minus one workout goes. I'm gonna go first, so your rest will be a little bit longer. Straps are at mid-length, stand facing. I'm gonna do 10 TRX squats. So you're still resting, you're watching me, and then you'll do 10. You ready? And one, I'm going low. Two, I'm pressing my feet apart. Three, I'm keeping my chest up tall. Four, five, six, I'm not dropping backwards. Seven, pressing the hips forward on top. Eight. Nine, get ready, you're up. And 10, I'm counting for you, and 10. Nine, eight, good job. Seven, a little lower. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're at nines. And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Your turn. Nine, eight, seven, six. Is that chest tall? Five, four. Are you sitting those hips back? Three, two, and one. We made it to eight. And eight, seven, six, five, four. If 
feel better as I go. Three, two, and one. Your turn. Eight, seven, six. Can you go a little lower than you did last time? Five, four. Now you probably got ahead of me. Three, two, and one. We made it to sevens. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four. When I do this with a partner, three. I make them count for me, two, and then I count for them. One, here we go, sevens, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Sixes, here I go. Six, squeezing my buns, five, driving the hips forward, four, three, two, and one, six is for you, and six, five, four, three, two, last one. It's gonna go really quick now, we're on fives. Ready? My turn, five, four, three, two, and one. You're on fives, and five, four, Three, two, and one. Fours. It's going quick now. Four. Get ready. I'm almost done already. Three, two, and one. And four. Lower. Three. You got it. Two, and one. We made it to threes. And three. Two, and one. Your turn. Three, two, and one, twos, and one, and two, and one, two, last one, nice and good, and one, and one, we did it, air high five, that was our minus one challenge, so that's a fun one you can do at the park, at the playground, at home, with your family, you can switch back and forth on the straps, I love that challenge. But now we've finally made it to our cool down. Let's do some really awesome stretches and call it a day. We're gonna start with our T-Rex lower back stretch with rotation. So my straps are at mid length. I'm standing facing the anchor. Walk it back similar to our overhead back extension start. I'm gonna fold my body in half, pressing those hips straight back. Ah, I'm just falling backwards. My ears are between my biceps. Now from here you can bend your right knee. Feel the left hip drop back and gently look under your left armpit. Now I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna straighten my right knee, bend the left knee, my right hip drops back, and I look under my right armpit. I'm just gonna kinda of switch back and forth, one side, and then the other side, and slowly bring that up. Next is our wide stance hip hinge. I'm gonna stay in the same position, get my feet really wide, and instead of falling backwards, now I'm gonna push down on my handles and drive forwards pressing my bum back. So I have a straight line from my fingertips to my shoulders to my bum and I'm actively pressing down on those handles to help keep a strong core and nice flat back. Remember those lateral lunges we did? We can do a little bit of side to side movement, stretching out the inner thighs. Or you can sway your upper body side to side. <sighs> and now I'm gonna have you take a deep breath in. Exhale, press down on those handles and slowly roll that up one vertebra at a time. Finally, your chest and torso stretch. So I'm keeping my straps at mid-length. I'm gonna stand facing away from the anchor point in my T position. My arms are straight out to the side. I'm gonna step one foot in front and keep my thumbs up toward the ceiling, actively pressing my hands away from me. Shoulders away from the ears. My head is floating off my shoulders. Big inhales and exhales. Doesn't that feel awesome? Now move back just a touch and have you drop your right arm down and reach your left arm over the top, keeping tension on the straps for a nice side bend torso stretch. Then you can do the same thing on the other side. Drop your left arm down, reach your right arm over the top, keeping tension on the straps. And if you want to hold this longer, please do. <laughs> you can continue on long after this video is over. Finally, feet together, forward fold, take a bow. Relax your head toward the floor, some yeses, some noes. Don't let go of those handles quite yet. And come on up, give yourselves a hand. 
So we did a full workout standing up. We did a series of seven different rounds, four, four times per round, progressively making those exercises harder. You were introduced to a minus one challenge, which is a really fun way to train, especially with other people. And finally, we did a really awesome cool down. I loved working out with you today. I hope I get to see you again soon. Nice job. Have a wonderful rest of your day.